God be with you. I have that ring for you. Good. Nice to know you're the sort of lad I can trust with a job like that. Now run with the ring to Wojtek, the miller in Kohelnitz. He'll have some work for you, and I'll have something for you soon too. A clever fellow like you will never want for work. At the very least, I'll buy risky goods from you. I mean, the kind that used to belong to someone else and you can't sell to just anyone. Stolen goods? Thanks, but no thanks. I'm not a thief. Can you tell me something about the other millers? There's a couple of other fellows around here in my trade. Woodsek in Kohelnitz and Simon in Sasa. Can you tell me... What about the Scalitz folk? God sent them to punish us for our sins. They don't work, they just idle around begging. And you want to keep a close eye on your belongings when they're around. I'll be glad to see the back of them. What do you think about everything that's happened? I don't concern myself with the doings of my betters. But this mess isn't good for business. Them two brothers should sort things out between themselves without dragging us into it. I don't give a damn who's king, but that usurper from Hungary has gone too far. Do you know anything about those Cumans? The heathen scum that Sigismund brought here. Why do you even ask? You've seen with your own two eyes what they're capable of. That's all. My respects to you. Miller Peshek from Ratai sent me with this ring for you. A ring? Here it is. Useless fucking bauble. You must be Henry, right? Peshek told me about you. What the... Why did you throw it away? Do you know how much trouble I had to get it? Peshek said it was important to you. Like I said, it's a piece of junk. It was just a test to see if you've got the balls to work for the miller. It's a custom of ours, testing fledglings in the trade with a nice little wild goose chase. We need to see if you'll be hobbled by pointless principles, or if you're willing to use your head. Congratulations. You passed the test, and now we'll have a few jobs for you. What am I to do with these things I pilfer? No one will buy stolen goods from me. Buying and selling stolen goods is a crime. But if they're worth something, I can make sure they're... Uh, properly cared for. Not that I'd buy them from you, but I could uh, store them for you. And you'll get some coin for taking care of them before. So if someone loses something and I happen to find it, I can bring it to you to store and I'll get Groshen for it. That's the arrangement. I've got some goods here whose owners might miss them. All right. Let's see what we can do about that. God be with you. Do you need help with anything? Just in time. There is a certain matter I need resolving. I have some scores to settle with the commander of the Talmberg Guard, and I want to get my own back. You may have heard that Sir Robart of Talmberg is a stickler for having all his gear neat and tidy. The commander of the Guard? Sir Robart? I'm already confused. Just tell me what I need to do. It's like this. I want you to break into the Talmberg Armory and steal a few Waffen rocks with the coat of arms on them. Ah, and once Sir Robard finds some of his guardsmen's equipment is missing... He'll see to the commander of the guard, who's the only one with keys and answerable for their safekeeping. When Robard finds out he's losing things from under his nose, he'll have him whipped. And I'll get what I'm after. Satisfaction. Take at least five Waffen Rocks to make it a proper stink. I think I'll pass on this one. Pity. But let me know if you change your mind. What was it you wanted from me? I want you to break into the Townberg Armory and steal a few Waffen Rocks. Consider it done. What am I to do with the Waffen Rocks once I have them? I'll burn them to get rid of the evidence. Just make sure you don't get caught. You're the young fellow who came here from Skalitz half dead, aren't you? Yes, that'll be me. Why? The lady of the castle was asking after you. She wants to talk to you. Ah, I'll go and see her then. Thank you. Very well. Don't make her wait. The Lord be praised. 
What's on your mind? I heard you wanted to talk to me, my lady. It's true. I need something from you. How can I help? My cousin, young Sophie, is going to be wed. It will be an entry into a new life, and I want everything to be perfect for her. I'm looking for a few things to give her as a gift, and you're going to find them for me. My lady, why me? <sighs> Normally I'd let the Chamberlain take care of it, but he doesn't have any taste. I can't trust him with this. And I've been told no task is too challenging for you. Is that not true? It will be my honor, my lady. I need you to pick up an ornamental crown from Sasal for Sophie, wine from a merchant in Ratai, and a roan from the stable in Ujits. Who am I supposed to pick up the wine from? From Conrad Hagen in Ratai. He's the only person in the whole region who can supply a genuinely good wine. And believe me, I know what I'm talking about. Here you go. That should be enough. And the ornamental crown? I had the engravers in Sasal make it. But now they've written to say it will take a while longer. That just won't do. The wedding is almost upon us, and I need it. Go and see Master Jeronim Slesky and pick it up. You said uh, a roan from Ujits. Precisely. It's a beautiful animal. Wait till you see it. Dietrich said he'd ride it here himself, but I can already imagine how he'll end up killing himself on that horse. But you, so young and vigorous... Wine, a roan, and a crown. I can handle that. Thank you, Henry. I just wish there were others here I could trust so well. What is it? I'd like to challenge you to a duel, sir. A little amicable combat. That sounds interesting. But what shall we fight for? Ah, so chivalry alone is not enough to tempt you. No, sir. I'm drawn to more, uh, glittering bait. I see. Well, why not? Let us make it more interesting, then. I'll tell you what. I have a fine suit of armor, a horse and a sword I want at dice. The horse and sword I can use, but the armor doesn't fit me well. I'll bet a piece of armor against a reasonable sum of groschen. All right. Why not? I'm glad to hear it. Let's get to it, then. Halt! Who are you and where are you going? I'm Henry, son of the Scalitz blacksmith. I'm going to see my liege, Sir Radzig Kabila of Dvoyets. Of course you are, lad, and I'm the Pope. What do you want from his lordship and what makes you think he'll see you? Come on, I'm not some peasant. I'm Sir Radzig's blacksmith and I need to speak with him. All right then, go ahead. Good health to you. Lady Stephanie of Talmberg sent me to... And what would she like? Fine clothes from Venice? Exquisite spices from Arabia? Jewels from Germany? Wine. Good wine. Ah. Ah? Would beer be enough? As a gift for a noblewoman's wedding? No, it definitely wouldn't. Then that's going to be a problem. I gave the last keg of good wine away as a prize for the archery competition tomorrow. Shit. Isn't there anywhere else where I could find the wine? Unfortunately not. I have the exclusive right to sell and buy that particular vintage. No one else in the region will stock it. Can I enroll in the competition? But of course. Go to the shooting range above Ratai. But what if I don't win the competition? Then you'll have to persuade the winner to part with some truly excellent wine. Uh, I suppose I'll just have to find a way to get it. I'm sorry, there's nothing more I can do to help. What? Such are my orders. As you wish. What the fuck is this? All these things are stolen. You'll be leaving that here. Got it, laddie? Now, you can enter. God be with you. I've heard there's a contest happening, and that the prize is a keg of fine wine. That's true. I bought the finest wine to be had in the province. I'd like to take part. 
Do you know the rules? I don't. You shoot 7, 13, or 21 arrows, depending on who you're shooting against. The straw surround is worth one point. The white ring, two, and the bullseye, three. Whoever finishes shooting first gets three extra points. The round ends when everyone has finished shooting, and whoever has the most points wins. It's the custom to wager on it, to make it more interesting, see? The better archers you shoot against, the higher the stakes. All right, that seems straightforward. Just one more thing. Don't leave while the contest is underway, and never aim or shoot at anything but the target. Otherwise, you're out. Got it? Got it. Splendid. Here's some arrows for you. But you can use your own if you want. Meanwhile, I'll round up the competition. Good day to you. What do you need? Congratulations on your victory. Thank you. I can't wait to drink to it. Yes, um, on the subject of drinking, I'm guessing you prefer beer to wine. <laughs> No, not really. I could drink beer in any tavern, but there's no wine as good as this one. It's just that the wine you want, I need it. Not a chance. I want it fairly. You don't want to disappoint Lady Stephanie of Talmberg and her courier, do you? So you say. But you don't look much like a fine lady's messenger to me. So how much do you want for the wine? <laughs> that much? I won't give you that. You'll be back, though. In that case, I'll find it elsewhere. You and I both know you won't. You'll be back, though. What is it, then? <clears throat> it's about this. I challenge you to a duel, sir. What? You heard? Don't try to wriggle out of it. Let's get to it. I'm not in the habit of fighting to the death with fellows I meet by chance on the road. Tell me first what this is all about. What's happening is I'm challenging you to a duel, you disgusting man. I spit in your face. Eager, aren't you? Who are you, anyway? <clears throat> I'm, I'm Sir Olbram of Lossany. Pleased to meet you, Sir Olbram. So, what are you after? Uh, my mother sent me out to get some experience. She's obsessed with tales of chivalrous knights. In short, she sent me off looking for some virgin to save, and to win glory in combat. But I have to admit, I'm not very good at it. You can't duel with someone just like that. There has to be a reason. But I thought knights fight for their honour. Don't they? I suppose so. Only, I'm not a knight. We ought to fight for something more substantial. Like... What? No doubt you carry some fine clothing on your travels, don't you? Bet that. Yes. But what if I get invited to a banquet? Then you can go as you are. At least you'll look adventurous. Wait. Well, what about me? What do I get if I win? I'm giving you a chance to fight for honour. That's a valuable thing, isn't it? Let's get to it. Uh, wonderful. 